Let us talk about the vicious horned predator Carnotaurus. The prehistoric world was once dominated by colossal creatures, each uniquely adapted to its environment and lifestyle. Among these ancient inhabitants, the Carnotaurus stands out as a fascinating and mysterious predator. With its distinctive features, including prominent horns and a sleek, robust build, the Carnotaurus has captured the imagination of paleontologists and enthusiasts alike. In this video, we delve into the world of this horned vicious predator, exploring its characteristics, habitat, behavior, and the significant role it played in the ecosystem of its time. Carnotaurus, which means, meat-eating bull, was first discovered in Argentina by paleontologists José Bonaparte and Fernando Novas in 1985. Belonging to the theropod family, Carnotaurus walked the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 72 million years ago. Classified under the Abelosauridae family, this dinosaur was closely related to other large predators like Abelosaurus and Majengosaurus. Carnotaurus was a medium-sized theropod, measuring around 26 to 30 feet in length and weighing approximately 1 ton. One of its most distinctive features was a pair of horn-like projections on its skull, situated above its eyes. These horns, along with a deep, robust skull and a unique set of jaws with small, serrated teeth, set Carnotaurus apart from its dinosaur counterparts. The dinosaur's build was compact and muscular, with a deep chest and short forelimbs that were even smaller than those of the famously short-armed Tyrannosaurus rex. Its hind limbs, on the other hand, were powerful and built for speed, suggesting that Carnotaurus was a swift and agile predator. One of the most remarkable findings associated with Carnotaurus is the discovery of skin impressions, providing insights into its external appearance. Fossilized skin impressions reveal that Carnotaurus had a unique pattern of small, non-overlapping scales, which might have contributed to regulating body temperature. The skin impressions also showed evidence of a row of elongated, pointed scales along its back. Carnotaurus fossils have been primarily discovered in the Chubut and Santa Cruz provinces of Argentina, showcasing a distribution concentrated in what was once the southern region of Gondwana. During the late Cretaceous period, this area was characterized by diverse ecosystems, including lush forests and extensive plains. Paleoenvironmental reconstructions suggest that Carnotaurus inhabited a variety of landscapes, from open areas where it could showcase its speed to more densely vegetated regions where it could utilize its ambush tactics. Its distribution, combined with the fossils of other contemporaneous species found in the same region, paints a picture of a complex and interconnected ecosystem. As a carnivorous predator, Carnotaurus relied on a diet of other dinosaurs, small reptiles, and possibly even early mammals. Its short, robust jaws and serrated teeth were well adapted for capturing and tearing flesh. The combination of its powerful hind limbs and agility suggests that Carnotaurus was likely a pursuit predator, relying on bursts of speed to catch its prey. The Carnotaurus, with its horned skull, compact build, and intriguing adaptations, remains a captivating subject of study in the field of paleontology. What does the name, Carnotaurus, mean, and why is it an apt description for this dinosaur? The name, Carnotaurus, translates to, meat-eating bull. This nomenclature reflects its carnivorous diet and the distinctive horns on its skull, which resemble those of a bull. The combination of predatory characteristics and unique physical features inspired the name, providing a fitting description of this dinosaur. How did Carnotaurus use its horned skull, and what purpose did the horns serve in its ecosystem? The horns on Carnotaurus' skull were likely not used for direct combat but rather served as a display feature. They may have played a role in species recognition, communication, or courtship rituals within the Carnotaurus population. Understanding the function of these horns provides valuable insights into the social dynamics and behavior of this ancient predator. What is known about Carnotaurus skin impressions, and how has it contributed to our understanding of its external appearance? Fossilized skin impressions of Carnotaurus have revealed a unique pattern of small, non-overlapping scales and elongated, pointed scales along its back. 
These impressions offer crucial information about the dinosaur's skin texture, likely aiding in thermal regulation. Additionally, recent studies suggest a tiger-like coloration pattern, shedding light on Carnotaurus' potential camouflage strategies. Where were Carnotaurus fossils primarily discovered, and what does this reveal about its habitat and distribution? Carnotaurus fossils have been predominantly found in the Chubut and Santa Cruz provinces of Argentina. This concentration of fossils suggests that Carnotaurus inhabited what was once the southern region of Gondwana during the late Cretaceous period. The discovery sites provide clues about the diverse ecosystems, including open areas and dense vegetation, that Carnotaurus navigated in its prehistoric environment. What are the prevailing theories regarding the function of Carnotaurus' small forelimbs, and how did they contribute to its predatory lifestyle? The small, vestigial forelimbs of Carnotaurus have sparked various theories among paleontologists. Some propose that these limbs were used for grasping or holding onto prey, enhancing its predatory capabilities. Others suggest alternative functions, such as mating rituals or establishing dominance within the species. Understanding the role of these forelimbs adds a layer of complexity to our understanding of Carnotaurus anatomy and behavior. Like the video and remember to subscribe to our channel.